What's good, YouTube? Stormy B-Man, and I'm back with another Stormy B-Man's Briefs. This time, the focus on a terrible problem in the sport of boxing, and we've seen it time and time again. Ineffective scoring and judging in boxing matches. When will the sport cease to get in its own way? We have recently seen fights where the judges are totally getting these scorecards wrong. Even when two of the three can have what appears to be closer scorecards, there's always someone in the mix who is way to the left instead of scoring a card correctly to the right. I'm telling you, if we don't do something about this, the sport of boxing will continue to find itself falling behind. Falling behind all the other combat sports, falling behind sports in general, and people are just start walking away from the sport of boxing as a whole. When we seen the recent corruption after the Michael Fox and Gabriel Mastre fight, where we saw a judge who definitely had tremendous bias going in and was ineffective in scoring a fight appropriately, it really showed how incompetent this particular judge was. But not only that, a greater problem that exists in the sport, sometimes inappropriate relations between judges and sanctioning body commissioners, this has to cease. No matter what a fighter does to get himself in, in shape, denying himself the pleasures of life to dedicate himself to be disciplined, to be ready for that night, only to have a judge with complete prejudice take something away from them. This has to go away, people, and it has to go away fast. One of the ways that we can incorporate something refreshing is to start considering recent former champions and contenders in the sport as judges. Fighters who actually could look at a bout because they've gone through and they can look to take the opportunity to score fights on the merits of boxing, how it's scored. Effective, aggressive, effective aggressiveness, ring generalship, defensive ability, and overall controlling the tempo of the fight. Sometimes when someone who has the experience of having been through that, they'll be a little bit more compassionate about what they're witnessing. Yes, they may have their favorites as far as being a guy who likes the sweet science of boxing technique and stylistic movement in the ring. And others will like the big puncher, the guy who can erase everything that has transpired with one blow. But that would be something that you can understand because you could bring those judges in on a fight where you have contrasting styles and they would be effective there because they would be looking to give the benefit of doubt to someone who is opposing the particular style that they favor. But these judges who know absolutely nothing about boxing and they are reflecting this in their scoring, they have to be weeded out and they have to be put away from the sport. Those inappropriate relationships need to find their way out the back door. This is something we should consider. Push for the older fighters. The fighters can come in and judge these fights. They can get licensed for it and they can build a committee within themselves to do this. It's another way to make money and they'll get the chance to sit ringside. What do you think about this? Let Stormy B-Man know about what you feel about the ineffective judging and scoring in boxing. Leave comments and we can discuss this and maybe we can start sending emails in to these commissions and sanctioning bodies to let them know how we really feel about this. This is all I have for you at this time. Until the next time we speak, peace and everyone please remain safe.